Honeywell V8043E1012 zone valve. Remove the screw. After the screw is removed, we will twist the motor and pull it out. Next what I'll do is I'll put my multimeter in here and I'll test this end switch to see if that's working. I should get a reading of about one. I'll connect my leads. Push it in. I'm getting a reading of about one. So this is a good switch. So now I've swapped the motors. I knew this motor right here was working. So, and I wasn't sure about this one. So I put this motor over here. Um, it worked when I turned the thermostat up. Now I'll check this one. I also checked the end switch here and that was working. So I'll raise the thermostat and hopefully this turns on. I'm saying a prayer.